Why do people get divorced? It's an unending question. Could you split it 50-50 between two people who've just fallen out of love with each other and have moved on? versus a very complicated breakdown of marriages, you couldn't. Every case is so unique to its own facts that y y why do people get divorced is, it's, I, I would say that it's an unanswerable kind of question. How do you get a divorce in Ireland? Okay, so to get a divorce in Ireland, uh, there are specific timelines that are set down. So you have to be living separate and apart for two out of the three previous years before you can make an application to the courts for a divorce. You don't have to have a judicial separation beforehand. Some people think you do, you don't. Just so long as you're separated for two out of the previous three years, you can then apply for your divorce in the Irish courts. What about, per se, somebody who might be able to afford to live in a different house? Okay, so you do get situations where you have same house, different households. So, one of the couple, they can't move out. They, they're in a joint property with a joint mortgage. There's no wiggle room in that respect. So the real world is coming into the emotional fallout of the family law situation as well. The bank is the big issue, they can't move. So what you have is, you have two people, marriage is gone, they can still apply. It's one house, two separate households. So they can still apply for the divorce, uh, it can be worked out in that way. How long does the divorce typically take? So, how long the divorce takes, I would say, depends on the parties involved. Because it, there are so many different aspects to a divorce that if you become embroiled in the small, tiny details, then it's going to take longer because you're starting to fight over the small things and you're forgetting about what your main objectives were when you came in. And I know it sounds a little bit emotionless to say objectives in a divorce, but the reality is you need to come out of it with somewhere to live, you need to come out of it with your kids looked after, most importantly, and you need to come out of it with a fair division of everything. Is it expensive to get a divorce? It can, it can be, yes, but it's important to know that a divorce in a situation where you have a couple perhaps with no property, maybe they're just renting, that's certainly something that's quite straightforward. The more assets, um, the, the, the more complications that are involved in each different case will increase the cost. Also, the attitude of the parties and the legal professionals involved the shorter, the more concise it can be, straight, focus on what you're looking for, cuts out the complication and reduces the costs. I, I would say that people are hurt, they're angry, they're disappointed, there's lots of things going on. So it's important, and I, I can't stress the objectivity aspect of it enough. So you're gonna to have to have somewhere to live. Your kids are going to have to be looked after. They're going to have to have somewhere to live. They're going to have to have, you know, financial support. Um, but you know what? Things change in a divorce. Generally, you go from one house with two incomes to two houses with one income. So when you're thinking what you want to come out with, you've got to cut your clothes in that respect.